Hi, I'm Steve Dynan. Welcome to Carbon Videos. Carbon is a new company I started that makes high performance parts for BMWs, Audis, Porsches, and Mercedes. You can visit our website at carbon.com or social media on Carbon Official. Welcome to our Carbon video. This week we're going to talk about high performance engines. So, Carbon, and previously Dynan that I used to own, has been making high performance and racing engines for 43 years. During that time, we won three racing prototype championships. One GT3 championship in Germany, one GS championship in the US, one ST championship in the US, and two overall wins at 24 hours of Daytona. A lot of engine experience. On top of that, we built 50 streetcar engines every year for 20 or 30 years. I don't even know how long, but a lot of engines. So we built hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of high performance engines, so a lot of experience. When we go to the stage two engine, we also put high performance valve springs in. Now the reason we do the high performance valve springs is, um, is when you increase the boost, the pressure from the intake manifold and the pressure of the combustion chamber wants to lift the valve off the seat and make the valve leak a little bit when it closes and we get less trap mass. Trap mass is the amount of fuel and air that we have in the combustion chamber to burn. Now a lot of people make this valve spring a lot stiffer, like 50%. We only go 20%. And the reason being is the OEM valve spring is primarily designed for, any valve spring is primarily designed for, to control the reciprocating mass of the valve and the valve spring and the retainer and the, and the valve train parts itself. Only a little bit of the spring ten tension is designed to help the valve seal when you have a force induction engine. You don't want to increase the valve spring tension any more than you need to because more valve spring tension also causes more friction to the valve train and the friction itself robs power and also makes the parts wear out faster. So we want just enough valve spring tension to compensate for the increased boost, and this is around 